Okay then, so we're on to the last video of this series and I really hope you've enjoyed it and you've seen this all the way through then. So by now we've learned how to wash your car safely, decontaminate it, polish it, protect your alloys and all the trim work. And now we're just gonna be finishing off with waxing and sealing the paintwork. So in this video, all we're going to be needing is a wax and a sealant. The sealant is actually optional. You don't necessarily need a sealant to finish this off. A couple of wax applicators and a couple of magfibers. So before we get into the process then, you may be wondering why we're waxing and sealing the paintwork. What's the difference between and what are the main benefits? Now the main benefit really is for future washers, it's a lot easier to clean a car that has been waxed and sealed than a unprotected car. The dirt tends to come off a lot easier as well, especially during the pre-wash stage with the snow foam. It also makes for future drying of the car a lot easier as well. Typically the water should bead or sheet off the bodywork a lot easier. So there's actually less water on the car when it comes to patting down the car with the drying towel. The difference between a sealant and a wax end. On first impressions, a sealant typically comes in a spray bottle. It's something you apply a couple of spritz onto the car and with a future armor, you can apply it to a wet car and rinse it off if you wish, or you can simply apply it to a dry car with a clean microfiber and then buff it off afterwards. A sealant typically also has greater durability than a wax. It will last between four to six months before you need to reapply anymore. A wax typically comes in a paste format and that is usually contains carnauba wax, which gives a nice deep gloss and shine to the paintwork. And a lot of people will describe it as giving it a warm glow. So they're the two main reasons. A wax will also last two to three months as opposed to the four to six months you may get from a sealant. So today we're going to be using the Dodo Juice Future Armor Spray Sealant. We're going to be using the Hard Candy Hard Wax from Dodo Juice as well. If you're new to detailing, I would recommend using a hard wax rather than a soft wax as it's a bit easy to apply and you can avoid over applying any product. We'll also be using a couple of finger applicators from Dodo Juice to apply the wax and a couple of fantastic fur microfiber towels. So before we get into the action then, I would like to give another big thank you to Dodo Juice for sponsoring this video and also the entire series. So yeah, it's been great working with these guys and bringing these products to you. So everything you see me use in today's video, you've got a chance of winning. And the wax of choice for this video is the Dodo Juice Hard Candy Wax. There will also be a few finger applicators and a couple of fantastic fur microfiber cloths as well. So yes, a big thanks to Dodo Juice for sponsoring this series and this video. I'll tell you at the end of the video how you can win these products. And again, a huge thank you to Dodo Juice for sponsoring this entire series. So yeah, let's dive into the action then. So hopefully you've watched the previous eight videos in this series. So by now the car should be clean, free of any contamination, polished, and now just waiting for a coat of wax. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure the panel is dust free. And if you are choosing to put a sealant on the car, that comes before wax. So apply a couple of spritz of the Futurama to the panel that you're working on. So if you're doing the bonnet, you only need about three or four sprays of that over the entire bonnet. The more products you end up on your microfiber, the less you're gonna to need to spray further down the line. So the first couple of panels, you may need to apply a little bit more. And then future panels such as doors, you may only need one or two sprays. So work that in evenly all over the panel and then flip the microfiber over or with a fresh microfiber, buff that off straight away. You don't really need to leave it far too long at all. Literally just work one panel at a time, apply and then immediately buff off. So once you've gone around the entire car, we now move on to waxing the car. So with the red finger applicator pads then, all you want to do is warm up a little bit of the product just by rubbing in circular motions in the pot with the applicator until a little bit of the product comes onto the applicator. So again, as I've said in every video so far in this series, it's all about being methodical. Start with the roof, then onto the bonnet, and then just work around the car, doing one panel at a time, applying your wax. To apply this, it's very similar to applying the hand polish that we did in a previous video. Just work it in, in circular motions, allow it to haze off, and then just do a swipe test with your finger, make sure it comes off clean. If it does, you can then go around with your fantastic fur microfiber and buff that off to a high shine. Also, just like polishing and many of the other stages, you want to be doing this out of direct sunlight if at all possible, and if you can, get it into the shade. If you do happen to work in direct sunlight, the cure times for the wax will be a lot shorter than if you was working in shade, so just be mindful of that. Don't let it dry on too much, otherwise you will be rubbing to get it off quite hard. So yeah, there we have it then. Hopefully by now you've got one complete, clean, and fantastic looking car. Again, a big thanks to Dodo Juice for supporting this series. I hope you guys have learned something from this series. If you'd like to win the products that I've used in this video, just leave a comment below telling me which was your favorite episode, and I'll just pick again a random winner. That video for all the winners will be up next week. 
Okay, so I hope you found this video useful then. If you have, please make sure you smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, please do consider subscribing as well. We've got a lot more videos coming up and we've also got quite a back catalogue as well, going a bit more into depth in some of these processes as well. Again, a huge thanks to Dodo Juice for sponsoring this series. Make sure you check them out at Dodo Juice Official on Instagram. You can also follow us at Detail and World Official on Instagram. And if you want to see the behind the scenes with myself, I'm on there as randomly set. So yeah, hopefully we'll see you in another video.